This thin piece of board will be the base of the jig. First I mark the end of the disc in one side in the tabletop. And I also mark the position of the screw I use to limit the movement of my table saw jigs. Now I want the disc to cut all along the edge of the base. So I must be able to move the jig up to here. And I want the edge of the base to be a couple of centimeters to the right of the disc. More or less like this. So I must put the guiding strip around here, but under the base. Then I drill a couple of guide holes. I insert a couple of screws until the tip protrudes the other side of the board. I fit the tip of the screw in the guide holes in the guiding strip. And I screw the board to the guiding strip. And I insert another two screws. And well, it looks like I didn't screw the board in the right position. So I cannot cut all along the edge of the base. I could remove the screws and change the position of the board. But let's see how much board I can cut. And I will get rid of the part of the board I couldn't cut. Like this, now I can cut all along the edge of the base. And like this, the edge of the base is against the side of the disc. Now I will use my table saw meter length. And I will meter cut both ends of this playwood board. And I cut two identical triangles. Then these triangles go like this on the base of the jig. Then this triangle goes here at 2 cm from the end of the base. And this other piece of plywood board goes here. And to make it easier to screw them, I will screw them flush in this side. Then I want this to go like this, against the table top and against the edge of the base. This will help to keep it in place. I put the triangle behind the board. I drill guide holes. And I insert the screws. And I do the same to screw the other triangle in the other side of the board. So now I have to screw this to the base. And to make that easier, first I glue the triangles to the base. I put this in the right position on the base. And I let the glue dry. And now I can screw this to the base. Now I could cut the front of the jig. But first I will check if the board is perfect at 45 degrees with the base. And in this side it is perfect. But in this side it looks like the angle is slightly bigger than 45 degrees. So I unscrew these screws. And I will put two pieces of thin veneer under this screw. And I put just one piece of veneer under this screw. And now I have a perfect 45 degrees angle. 
Then now before I cut the front of the jig, I will put this strip. I will put it at some centimeters from the edge of the board. And it must be at a perfect 90 degrees angle with the edge of the jig and with the disc. I must make sure the first screw is away from the disc direction. Then I drill guide holes and I insert one screw. And now I could use the square to put the strip at 90 degrees with the edge of the board. But it looks like the edge of the board is not perfectly parallel to the edge of the base. So it is not aligned with the cutting direction. So finally I decided to cut the board before I put the strip. But now there is not a nice edge to set the square. But I can set the square both against the tabletop and against the surface I have just cut. So like this I can put the strip at 90 degrees and I screw it. I make sure it is perfect at 90 degrees and I will cut the strip. But the height of cut is not enough to cut all the width of the strip. So let's see what can I do with that. Anyway, soon I will upload a video about how to modify this jig so it has more height of cut. Here we can see that the maximum height of cut is only 1 cm. Now I will drill a hole so I can install a clamp to hold the pieces I will cut with this jig. So I put the clamp like this. And I will put there some wooden blocks to keep the fixed jaw against the back of the board. Like this it will be easy to clamp the work pieces. Now I have this 1 cm thick boards and I will use this jig to cut them. Another problem is that if I put the end of the boards against the tabletop, I will lose a long piece in the end of the boards. So I need to move the boards up to cut them right in the end. And to cut them all always in the same position, I must put a stop block. So I will screw this small block to the end of the strip. So now I put there the first board, I clamp it, and I cut it. Now I cut the other end of the board, and like this I cut all the boards. It is not good to have there, between the disc and the stop block, the part I have just cut, because it could jump. Well, in another video I will try to improve this table saw jig. But now I will use this jig to cut all the boards. 
and I sent the cats I have just made. Well, despite I rustle up some parts of the jig, I get some nice cuts. I glue the pieces. And once the glue is dry, let's see how these joints look. Well, not perfect joints, but they are quite good. I am sure after some sanding and after applying some varnish, these joints will look great. In the next video I will use this table saw jig to make a box. And in the next one I will try to improve this jig so it has more height of cut. Thanks for watching. You can find all my woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube. And if you like my videos, thanks for subscribing to my channel.